Hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ, and today I want to talk about the best and most consistent lure throughout the entire summer when it's hot, so stay tuned, it's going to be a good one. We are so close to hitting 25,000 subscribers that this might be one of the last videos that you see before we hit it. Once we hit 25K subscribers, I'm giving away five of these bass hats and a brand new Akumo Helios XX Reel. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel and down in the description, there's a link to click on where you can fill out your name and email and be put in that giveaway. So make sure you do that now before it's too late. All right, guys, today is all about the worm. The worm is one one of the best lures to fish throughout the entire summer. Yeah, sometimes a crankbait might catch them better, or sometimes a topwater might catch them better, or sometimes a swim bait might catch them better, but those baits can also be extremely conditional baits, meaning that they're only gonna work under certain conditions. With that being said, the worm is one of those rare lures. It just never seems to not work. When in doubt, if you pick up some sort of plastic worm, you're going to start catching fish. So I really want to talk about that because I think it's important during the summer to simply just go out and get bit. No matter what, whether you're trying to target big fish or just catch numbers of fish, if you just have just worms in your tackle box, you're going to go out and you're going to consistently catch bass. With that being said, I have seven different plastic worms that I use throughout the summer, and they all kind of have their own place and time when they work. I'm just going to go through these seven worms. They really apply to largemouth bass, to smallmouth bass, and to spotted bass. I'm going to go through these worms, and I'm not only going to talk about the worm themselves and the colors that I like, but I'm also going to talk about when exactly I like to fish these worms. The first worm on the list, and if you guys have been on this channel for any amount of time, if you subscribe, to the channel, you know that I'm absolutely in love with this particular worm. What we have here is the Zoom Old Monster Worm. This is a 10 and a half inch worm. It's considered to be a big worm, although it's really not that big. Something that I love about the Zoom Old Monster Worm is it not only catches big fish, but it really gets a number of bites. And that's something that is really kind of true with all the worms that I'm going to talk about today. That's one of the best things about a plastic worm. They can get a big number of bites and they can also catch big fish and what more could you ask for we want lures that catch big fish and we want lures that catch a lot of fish with that being said the the zumo monster is literally the first worm that i'm going to pick up when it's hot out when it's the summertime and, and there's a number of different reasons one is because it has a bigger profile during the summer the water is hot it might be 80 degrees where you're at it might be even in the 90 degrees you know down south and with that being said everything in the water is moving quicker the fish are cold blooded so their metabolism is really heightened. A lot of times bass are looking for a bigger profile during the summer because if they can catch a big bluegill or just a big animal in general, it's gonna help sustain their body for a longer period of time as opposed to going around and trying to catch minnows and trying to live off minnows throughout the summer. So a big worm with its big presence is what I like to pick up. Now, I think a lot of people think that a big Zumo monster worm like this is really kind of reserved for offshore fishing. That couldn't be further from the truth. Actually, one of the best things to do with this lure during the summertime is actually flip it and pitch it along the bank. Everybody else is going down the bank with jigs and with, with beaver style baits and crawl style baits. And then all of a sudden you present them with a big worm like this. It's going to get bit over other plastic lures. It's something they haven't seen when they're on the bank, and it's something that gets a lot of bites and big bites. When it comes to the Zoom Old Monster, there's only a few colors that I love. This is plum. This is my number one color. It's the color that I absolutely love. The second color is your standard green pumpkin color. That works all the time just as well. The last color that I like is actually June Bug. I think June Bug in certain states is just a go-to. It works really well. 
and June bug can be a great bait to use in some of those states. Now, this worm actually doesn't make the list of the seven that I'm talking about here. This is kind of a, a bonus worm, but this is the Zoom Magnum Trick Worm. I kind of throw this in the exact same places that I fish the Zoomo Monster Worm that we talked about. This just seems to work a little bit better in maybe some situations where a lot of guys are fishing big worms. You know, if you go down and you fish Lake Chickamauga, you know, you fish big worms down there. You fish Lake Eufaula, there's a lot of big worms down there. If you fish down in Florida, a lot of guys are fishing big ribbon tail worms down there. Now, in those areas, sometimes what you can do is take this Magnum Trick Worm and put it on a shaky head. Basically, you have a Magnum shaky head. It's a great bait to fish during the summer that not as many people are going to fish. It's going to get you a lot of bites, but I prefer the Zoom Old Monster. All right, guys, the second worm that I absolutely love for summertime fishing is the Robo Worm Fat Six Inch Worm. This particular color that I'm holding up here is Margarita Mutilator. It's probably my number one worm. Literally this, I, I carry this worm really in just two colors. And one is Margarita Mutilator and the other is the Aaron's Magic color, which is more of a greenish, more of a natural color. This worm I use for a number of different applications. One of my favorite ways to actually fish this is on a drop shot. Now, anytime I'm fishing for a large mouth with a drop shot, so maybe I'm fishing offshore stumps, maybe I'm fishing against the bank and I'm using a drop shot, for largemouth, this is the bait that I'm going to pick up. This is the color that I'm going to start with. I don't know what it is about this Margarita Mutilator. It's like a real dark purple, kind of like a June bug type color. It just gets bit, it gets bit a lot. And typically the way that I'm gonna rig this on a drop shot is actually kind of Texas style. That way I can fish it through brush, around stumps, around grass without it getting hung up all the time. Now, another way that I really like to fish this bait is simply on a shaky head. You know, if you got a finesse fish, you know, you can put this exact same worm on a shaky head. Typically, I like to fish an eighth ounce or a three sixteenths ounce weight. Um, sometimes I'll step it up to a quarter, maybe if I'm fishing a little bit deeper, but this bait really looks great on a shaky head. If I'm fishing during the summer, I'm literally not going to leave the house without this six inch fat robo worm that I'm going to fish specifically for largemouth. A very close cousin to the fat robo worm is another robo worm. And this is actually just the regular robo worm four and a half inch straight tail worm. This to me is like one of the original drop shot worms. Back in the day when drop shotting was really becoming popular, there was only so many baits that you could use and a robo worm like the one that I have here became extremely popular. This was probably one of the first worms that I used for smallmouth and spotted bass drop shot fishing. And that's to this day still one of my favorite baits to fish on a drop shot for those species. Now, when I fish this worm, like I said, I typically fish it on a drop shot, typically going to nose hook this worm. That's the way I like to fish it. I feel like a lot of people have kind of gotten away from fishing this four and a half inch robo worm because there's so many different drop shot baits out there on the market now. You have your shad shaped worms and your cross tail shads and all your different drop style baits that I feel like a lot of people have just gotten away from the simple four and a half inch straight tail robo worm. And guys, this thing still catches the fire out of bass. So in the summer, when you're wanting to drop shot for smallmouth, for spotted bass, don't forget about your simple straight tail four and a half inch robo worm. All right, guys, the fourth worm on the list, and this might be the most overlooked worm in pretty much all of our tackle boxes. I can almost guarantee that a lot of you guys have this exact same worm, but you just don't pick it up. This is a seven inch Berkeley power bait power worm and guys to me this is like the original plastic worm this style of worm is like the worms that guys picked up in the 1970s and the 80s like back in the day when when all these tournaments used to be fished and won on just these rubber plastic worms this was the style this seven inch ribbon tail worm and guys i really feel like this worm has just been overlooked so many other baits are out there on the market these days tubes and hog style baits and beaver bait and crawl style baits all kinds of different plastic baits that I really think a seven inch ribbon tail worm just doesn't get thrown as much as it used to back in the day. This thing still catches them. When I flip and pitch during the middle of summer, you know, whether I'm fishing a, a, an 
off color water or sometimes there's just that period of time I feel like fish really like to get shallow during the summer. This is a worm that you're gonna wanna pick up. I forget exactly what this color is called. I'll put it right here so that you guys know, but this is pretty much, besides this and a natural color, this is pretty much the only power bait color that I have. This color is fire. Like this, this thing is fire. I remember Charlie Harley won a tournament on the James River fishing a seven inch ribbon tail worm here just a couple of years ago. And I remember that was probably like the most recent win on just your standard seven inch ribbon tail worm. So like I said, it still works. It still catches fish. You just got to pick it up. Moving on to the next worm and guys, I'm going to put all these worms in the description so that you can check them out. This worm, I actually did a specific specific video that I'll actually link above and below in the description as well. This worm is a zoom speed worm. The video that I did for this was talking about the versatility of this worm. I really highly suggest that you watch this video after you watch this one. But guys, that's exactly what this bait is. This is one of the most versatile plastic worms that you can have in your tackle box. The reason being is you can fish it like a standard worm on the bottom. You can actually reel it through the middle of the water column, kind of like a spinner bait or a chatter bait. You can also take the weight off and use it as a top water bait. You can clip this tail off and you can use it as a Cinco style bait. This worm truly is one of the most versatile worms. It really seems to be popular in Florida and in Texas, but I think that in other parts of the country, this worm is just not utilized. And yet I still think it's a great worm to always have tied up, to always have on your rod. All right, guys, here is the worm that you probably knew was going to be on the list, and that is a Gary Yamamoto Senko worm. You can't talk about plastic worms without talking about the Senko. It's probably caught more bass than literally any other worm out there on the market. You can fish it wacky style. You can fish it Texas rigged. You can cut it in half, fish it on a Ned rig if you want to. Now, with that being said, there is a million different colors of the Senko. I keep things simple all the time. Like I tell you guys on this channel to keep things simple all the time. I have a June bug colored one of these. I have a, a green pumpkin one of, the, one of these. I have a black and blue one of these. I have a watermelon style one of these. That's pretty much it. Really, I'm just going to change my color depending on the water clarity that I'm fishing. If it's real clear, I'm gonna fish the watermelon. If it's pretty clear, but maybe a slight stain, the green pumpkin. If it's stained, the June bug. If I'm down in Florida fishing at tannic water, I'm gonna fish that black and blue. I like to keep it simple. One thing you guys should know about the Senko style bait is I do think that it is one of the best baits out there, but the Bass Pro Shop Sticko is probably the closest bait to this Gary Yamamoto Senko out of any of the stick baits on the market. And it's a lot more inexpensive. It's fairly cheap and looking at it in a pool, it really acts the exact same way. So guys, you can buy the Gary Yamamoto Senko and have the brand name, or you can buy the Bass Pro Shop Sticko, have the same action and save a little bit of money. Last and definitely not least is the Ned Rig. And in the, in the Ned Rig, I'm typically fishing that 2.75 inch Z-Man Elastec bait. It's the bait that uh, you know a lot of us pick up for smallmouth, for spotted bass, for largemouth. Guys, a Ned Rig just works extremely well. It works when fish are biting, it works when fish aren't biting. You can fish a Ned Rig on spinning tackle. You can bulk it up and fish a little bit bigger Ned Rig, like a Magnum Ned Rig. I just recently made a video on the Ned Rig and three mistakes that I see a lot of bass fishermen make. So you can click on that video over here if you want to watch that Ned Rig video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you have a question, leave it in the comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.